Okay, everybody, let me get my camera right. Stephen Key here, and today I have another very, very special guest. Lauren from Staten Island. She's an inventor, she's a mom, she's got two kids, and she's created a, an amazing product for babies. Lauren, what is your product and how does it help? So, uh, thank you so much for the introduction. Um, my product is called Tranquilo Baby Suit. It is the first baby massager which simulates a mother's touch, gentle touch. So the objective of the product is to naturally calm a baby anywhere in the home, on the go, seamlessly and easily. Well, how did you, why did you come up with this? I mean, every mother, I mean, I, I have three kids and I know that it's hard to sue the baby at times, and especially if yeah. you have a couple of kids at the same time. So when did you come up with it? How did you, when was that aha moment? The aha moment was when I became a new mother and my son Joseph was born almost 10 years ago. And just, you know, being a new mom and going through the motions, even though it was the most wonderful time of my life, it was also one of the most anxiety filled, um, you know, moments in my life as well, um, which I think people sort of shy away sometimes from talking about that when you become a new parent, you know, the the pros and cons and, you know, not being able to sleep and hearing my son crying endlessly. I would just, you know, intuitively and instinctively as a mother, I, I knew my son loved to be touched and I would massage his stomach, I would massage his belly um, and his back. And I said, wow, you know, this was so effective. This would be great if I had it throughout the day on the go. And that was the aha moment. I thought, wow, I could really help so many people um, who feel anxiety when they, not only that they are new parents, but hearing your child's wailing uncontrollably, it was just the perfect solution. Now, okay, so you have the idea, but how do you go about bringing it to market? Did you build a prototype? Are you an engineer? I mean, how do you, what do you do? Not at all. No. Um, so my background is marketing and business. And so I'm, I'm the idea person, you know, always coming up with solutions, ideas. Um, and, you know, at first I knew, okay, I have to sort of think this through, write it out, draw it out. And that's exactly what I did. I put my idea on paper. And then the next step was to think, how am I going to come up with a prototype? So um, basically, I, I had found I was connected to an engineer who believed in my idea. And of course, you know, the legal process of having a non-disclosure, I went through that, make, making sure that my idea was protected. But um, I disclosed it to the engineer. And from that moment on, that was it. We, you know, he believed in it. He was passionate about the idea. Um, I gave him a small piece of equity in the, in the product, which I had no choice. I, re I really had to because I wouldn't have a product without him. And so that's how um, I had the, pro the prototype created. How'd you find him? What a great guy he was. How'd you find him? I actually found him. So my father is worked in the toy industry for a number of years, worked for Mattel and um, Hasbro. And so um, he guided me as far as you know, who to connect with, because let's face it, when you come up with an idea, it's sacred, right? You want to protect it. You're nervous to sort of, you know, share it with anybody. And so I wanted to make sure it was someone who I could trust. And, um, after meeting several times, I knew that he would be the perfect person to bring on board. And that was it. Okay. All right. So you have this prototype, but now what do you do? Because I know you've licensed it now, but it's yes. taken a it's taken a few years, but let's talk about fast forward a little bit. Sure. Where is it today? You, you license it to a, a big company, which is fantastic. Yes. Congratulations on that. Um, Thank, you. Thank you. And now it's selling everywhere, isn't it? Um, so let's talk about how'd you reach out to that licensee? Was it easy? Did you pick up the phone? Did you go down to their office? Did you find them on LinkedIn? How did you find the company? So I think it's the New Yorker in me. I'm just, you know, I come up with the, the 
you know, something in my mind and I have to see it through. And I'm just, I just so believed in this concept because I just felt that I was so just emphatically passionate about helping people. And I knew that it worked. Um, you know, there's so many different steps along the way that, you know, focus groups and, uh, also, uh, getting it pediatrician endorsed. That was tremendous. Uh, making sure that, you know, validating that it actually was effective and worked. But uh, what I decided to do was after a number of years thinking that I would manufacture it on my own, I decided, you know what, I love to invent, I love to market, and I'm still, I'm actually, you know, creating other products, um, you know, within the soothing brand. Um, But for me, it was about focusing on the inventing. So I said, you know, licensing is, is just, is perfect. It's the perfect, um, you know, uh, choice for myself. And I would just go on LinkedIn. I would reach out, you know, I would research, okay, who is the CMO of this particular company? Who's the, you know, um, let's say, you know, head of marketing or head of innovation. And then I would just pretty much just stalk them (laughs) in a nice way. But, you know, just basically saying, listen, you know, I have this great idea and, you know, making sure also, you know, doing a lot of research as far as the company's mission, making sure that it aligns with my mission and the mission of the product. Um, But, you know, LinkedIn was fantastic as far as connecting to people instantaneously. And, you know, I have to say also Facebook, um, you know, sometimes I would actually reach out to people through Facebook as well. And I felt that it was a little more laid back in a sense. Um, but people for the most part, you know, were very receptive and open to hearing about the concept. So All right, one last question. So you reached out, you found the company and how long, I mean, how did it start out? Did it, did it go pretty quickly or did it take time or how did you navigate those waters? It it has been a long road. Um, I think I was a bit naive in the beginning of this process, thinking that it would sort of, um, you know, just take a couple of years. It's actually taken a decade. Um, And, you know, like you said, I mean, now finally we were in Walmart last year. Um, Now we're on TranquiloBaby.com. We're on Amazon and we're working um, actually in talks with getting into um, some other major retailers. But it took an incredible amount of time, persistence, perseverance. You just you have to really live and breathe your idea. You have to believe, just believe that it can make a difference, change people's lives. And that's really it. It's about providing a solution to people to help make their lives better. And, um, and I knew I had something that would do that. And, but it, it did, it took a long time of just, but once you, you reached know. out to the comp, once you decided you wanted to license, how long did it take from that point on? Was it a little quicker? Oh, you say when I, when I decided yeah, to when, license- you, when you first decided, you know, maybe licensing was a better, uh, path. Yes. Um, how long did it take for you to reach out to the company and for them to engage and then license it from you? Was it a quick process? What did that take? No, that was, I mean, it depends on the company, but it was a lengthy process because I would start, you know, I, for me, it's all about relationship building and developing rapports with people. Um, and so, you know, I listened to you and, you know, sometimes not just would send an email, I would try to back it up with a phone call and just get to know the point person at the company. But, um, it, it took time. I mean, because then I would have to send the prototype, they would have to test it. So it could have been, you know, some companies were three months, some companies were six months. It really depended on the company, but I would say between three and six, three to six months, wait, the waiting process to just to figure out if this was going to happen. Yeah. Because the company that licensed it had to do some work. They had to probably test it themselves. Yes. Because they're such a large company that they were going to make that type of investment. They had to make sure that everything lined up. And I'm sure they loved your commitment, too. That's what I've heard through the grapevine, that they knew you were the right person because of everything you've, you've done and your, your work ethic. You really handed it a product to them that they could take to market um, and you did all the legwork. So congratulations on all that. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that's the key, too. I think, do like you always say, doing as much as you can prior to, um, you know, uh, 
basically pitching your idea or, you know, presenting your idea to a company, because like you said, then they're more interested, I think, in a sense to say, okay, it's less risk for us. Uh, so that definitely worked to my advantage that I had yeah, done because you, some you really steps. created a new category. So that's a little scary yes. in itself, but that's, that takes a little bit of education. So I could see where they were doing their homework. Um, but anyway, thank you for coming on and congratulations on your product. It's wonderful. I know people are enjoying it and we'll put down below where people can find it. Okay. Thank you so much. And it's important to say you've been an incredible mentor. So thank you for helping to guide me along the way. And, um, I really, really am truly grateful for your advice. So, and no. your insight. Well, no, <laughs> thank you for, for allowing me to be part of your journey. It's been amazing to watch you succeed. So congratulations. Oh. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you.